Rolling contact bearings are usually installed with a press fit on one ring and a push fit on the other. Removing a bearing that has been installed with a push fit is relatively simple because it is a loose fit. Removing a bearing that has been installed on a shaft with a press fit is more difficult because it is a tight fit. The principles involved in removing a bearing that was installed with a press fit are the same, whether it is the outer ring or the inner ring that has the press fit. In this part, we'll look at two methods for removing the press fit inner ring of a bearing from a shaft. The first method is used when the shaft can be removed from the machine. This method uses a device called a hydraulic press. A hydraulic press is a machine that is frequently used to apply pressure to the parts of a piece of equipment that is being assembled or disassembled. A hydraulic press removes a bearing from a shaft by holding the bearing in place and pushing the shaft through the bearing. Let's watch a mechanic use a hydraulic press to remove a bearing from a shaft. To begin setting up the hydraulic press, the mechanic first adjusts the height of the bed. Then he places table plates on the bed. Next, he sets up the shaft in the bed. The mechanic lines up the shaft so that the table plates are supporting only the bearing's inner ring. This is important because if too much stress is placed on the outside ring, the bearing could be damaged. He also checks to ensure that the ram is positioned directly above the shaft. Next, the mechanic inserts the shaft protector between the shaft and the ram. After the shaft and the bearing have been lined up, the mechanic closes the pressure release valve on the hydraulic pump. Then he pumps the handle to begin applying force to the press. As the shaft starts to move through the bearing, he watches the bearing to make sure that it does not jump off its supports and to make sure that it is not cocked. If the bearing is cocked, it will jam on the shaft. As the shaft is forced straight down through the bearing, the mechanic holds on to the shaft with one hand to prevent it from dropping. The second method we will look at to remove a bearing uses a bearing puller. A bearing puller is a portable device. It is generally used to remove a bearing from a shaft when the shaft can't be removed from the machine. Before using the bearing puller to remove a bearing from a shaft, the mechanic applies penetrating oil between the shaft and the bearing. This oil makes it easier to remove the bearing. Then he sets up the bearing puller jaws behind the bearing so that they rest loosely against the shaft. Next, the mechanic hooks the side rods behind the jaws. Then he makes certain that both rods are aligned correctly on the strong back. In this example, the mechanic places the lead screw into an alignment hole in the shaft. Then he tightens the lead screw. He checks the position of the jaws to make sure that they will only push against the inner ring. A good way to check the jaw position is to tighten the puller and then turn the bearing's outer ring. If the outer race can move freely, then the jaws are positioned correctly. Next, the mechanic uses a wrench to tighten the lead screw and draw the bearing off the shaft. He is careful not to cock the bearing. If the bearing is cocked as it comes off the shaft, it will jam and the puller will have to be readjusted. The mechanic continues pulling until the bearing is loose enough to be removed by hand. 